Okay, so I've started off with the blank project again, and we're just going to look at the three ways to add concept here in this lesson. Uh, one of the important things to Indigo Rose was to have different ways to add things or different ways to do each task. And this is, of course, a sign of great software from all the great titles. So let's take a look at, for example, three ways to add a button to our page. And you can adapt this technique to any type of object. The first way is to go to the Insert button. So let's go to Insert button menu and then you can surf to a file here, for example in your gallery, and uh, you can see that there's a wide variety of buttons that come included with Autoplay Media Studio for you to use in your projects, and you can preview them by clicking on them here. Uh, you can just go ahead and select one of those and press OK or double click it. So I'm going to double click the orange rectangle and press OK. So there's one way to add a button to our project. Another way is to drag and drop. So for example, if we go into the gallery and we click on the button icon here in the upper left to go into the button area, we can actually go ahead and find our orange rectangle button here and just grab it and drag and drop it here onto the stage. So that's number two. That's the second way we can add a button to our project. And number three would be via this button icon here on the toolbar. And if you don't see this, then you would want to go to View, Toolbars, Standard. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and click that, and we're given this um, dialog. And we can surf again here to the file in our gallery, which would be Orange Rectangle. And again, we can double click it or press OK. This time I'm going to press OK. Press OK again. And there you go. Three ways to add objects adds flexibility to your workflow and it makes things go really fast. I find that I, I use a variety of different techniques depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I use the drag and drop, sometimes I surf to the file. Any way you do it, the main point is that we wanted to build in some flexibility so that you could get things done quickly and comfortably and that's what the three ways to add concept is all about. So let's go on to the next lesson.